Hello, in this video tutorial I'm going to show how the Blackboard learning environments can be used by lecturers to examine to what extent their students are engaging with the online material. Uh, to do this you need to be in the Teach tab, so that's the middle of these three tabs in the top left hand corner. Uh, and if we scroll down to the instructor tools, then we need to select the tracking item. And within tracking, there are various options. Most of these give you a summary across students. Uh, but to look at what individual students are doing, you need to select the last of these, student tracking. And then below that, you need to select a date range that you're interested in. And I selected here a range from uh, the start of October in 2009 to the middle of November in 2009. So if I ask for a report here, then I get a new screen. And I've actually just scrolled across here so that the uh, students' names are not showing here for reasons of confidentiality. Um, but on this screen, each row represents an individual student, so you can see uh, the first time they logged in, the last time they logged in, you can see uh, how many sessions they've engaged in online and how much time they've spent, how many messages they've read and so on. Uh, one of the things that I'm quite interested in here is uh, how frequently students are engaged in online assessments. So uh, there's two columns here which show how many assessments students have begun and how many they've actually completed and another column again shows you how much time in total they've spent engaging with those assessments. But uh, supposing I want to know a little bit more still about individual students, what I need to do here is to scroll back across to the left and then click on the name of the student that I'm interested in. Uh, I'm not going to show the names on the screen here, but I will take you uh, to the next screen that you see if you do click on the name of a student. Okay, so on this screen we can see uh, the dates at which a particular student has uh, logged on in the period from the start of October to the uh, middle of November. Uh, the information on this page isn't particularly uh, interesting. Um, it's really a summary of how much time was spent looking at Blackboard on each occasion. But let's actually select a specific occasion. So let's have a look here at the uh, at session 9 on the 30th of October. OK, so I've cropped this screen slightly to remove the name of the individual student. Uh, but you can see within the period that the student was logged on, he looked at uh, various items within the Blackboard site. So uh, he uh, viewed the home page. Uh, he looked at um, a number of topics within the discussion forum. So, for example, looked at the topic of perception, uh, and some specific uh, items again to do with perception um, and engaged with one of the assessments and indeed uh, completed that assessment. So in the last row here it says assessment submitted. So I can see on this particular occasion what this student was doing. Um, why might I want to know these things? Well, first of all, it's useful just to see to what extent, of course, a student actually is engaging with the information that's provided um, or the quizzes and things that are provided. Um, I have occasionally had students come to me and say, for example, that uh, they weren't aware that uh, there was a particular coursework deadline or they weren't aware, for example, of the topic of the coursework. When I've gone back into Blackboard, and I've looked at what they've actually been accessing, I find that actually they'd accessed the things they claim to have been unaware of. So uh, they'd logged in, for example, to a page which described what the coursework as uh, assessment was and what the deadline was. 
So actually, I can see that um, you know they should have been aware of these things that they claim not to have been aware of. Uh, but perhaps the most useful thing, uh, just to reiterate, is uh, just to get a feel for the extent to which students are actually engaging with uh, the information that's provided for them.